Hello guys, sorry about the delay. Perdón por el retraso. How are you? Yeah. How are you doing today? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello. Cameras hello. off. Hello. 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 hello, hello, hello. And the cameras are Fine. off today. Very good, and you? Fine. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fine. Fine. Oh, look at this. Huh, interesting. Me volvieron a cambiar la asistencia. Me la hicieron en el orden que la tenía anteriormente. Pero las sesiones van a seguir así como estaban. Así que, yes. Wow, interesting. Okay, anyways. So I'm going to start with the attendance, guys. Uh, remember, you need to have your cameras on and your microphones on when you are going to say present or I'm here, okay? I'm going to start here with Ana Gladys Moraga Rodríguez. Patricia Milet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Present. Okay. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. José Arnoldo Corea Jovel. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Katia Gabriel Hernández García. I'm here. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present. Que, pa, 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 Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Excellent. Sara Ivette González García. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. Present. Stephanie de la Paz Celaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ibet Ramírez Castillo. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Ok. Um, Karen Elena Hernández, I mean Vázquez Hernández. I'm here. Excelente. En Luis Adonai Aguilar Merino. Excellent. So we should start with the class, you guys. So welcome to the class one more time. Thank you for your punctuality. I'm sorry that I have a little bit of a delay today, but I had some things going on here with the computer. Anyways, so we're going to start with the class. Um, we are in the unit number, I mean, in the topic number two. I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see the topic for today. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this is class two. And I have class one here. There we go. Okay, can you help me reading the date? for today, please. Rina. First thing, November. Ay, se me olvidó como se dice 16, 16. 16, 2021. Okay, help me with the date is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, thank you very much. So it's Tuesday, November 16th. Remember the ordinal number 16th, 2021. Can you help me with the topic for today, please? 
Let me see, Daisy. Have four obligation. Thank you very much, Daisy. So yes, guys, today we're gonna learn how to use the verb have when we have to talk about when we have to talk about an obligation, the obligations that we need to do maybe in the workplace, maybe in the house. We're gonna use have for obligations. So let's start. We have two questions right here. The first question says, do you have obligations in your workplace? If you have, you're gonna say, yes, I do. If you don't, you're gonna say, no, I don't. And then we have an open question. What are your obligations in the workplace? What are your obligations in the workplace? So for example, the things that you need to do every day, what are your obligations? If you can take a screenshot of this, because we're gonna practice, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna divide the groups to go and practice. Remember, this is speaking practice. You don't have to write the answers, don't write them. Just think about the answer and speak. You're gonna speak and talk about the obligations you have in your workplace. That's all you have to do. Don't write the answers. Because I go to the breakout rooms and you are like, espérame teacher, estoy escribiendo la respuesta. No, it's not about writing. Oh, and something else, remember que tenemos que tener nombres completos, please. Estoy viendo ahorita en los grupos. Let me see. Yes, let's go. Jose, welcome to the class. Hi. Hi. You doing? Are you working today? No. Okay. Uh, so we're we are practicing this. We're practicing the, the the this question. Do you have obligations in your workplace? And the other one is, what are your obligations in your workplace? Okay. Okay. That's a speaking practice. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room to practice. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Están practicando en breve.
it is hello, hello miss. welcome hello, to the miss. class so your classmates are practicing these questions in the regular room so do you have obligations in your workplace and what are your obligations in the workplace okay okay so i'm gonna send you to one of the breakout rooms there Hello, Luz. Hello, teacher, sorry. Welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank okay. you, teacher. So your classmates are practicing these questions in the break rooms? If you Do get you have the... obligation in the workplace, what are your obligation in the workplace? Okay. Correct, excellent. So I'm gonna send you to one of the rooms. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. There you go. Okay, What happened, Carla? Es que no he llegado a mi casa, teacher, y el inter me está fallando, por eso creo que me salí del grupo. ¿En cuál estaba? Eh, con Judy. Okay.
Hello. Wait a second. Okay, guys, so obviously everybody here has obligations when they go to work because that's basically what we do. We have obligations in the workplace, different things that we have to do. So for example, here, my obligation is to teach you English, right? That's my obligation. So we have many other obligations maybe. Now, let me um, continue here and uh, let me ask you something. This is for the ones that have been with me since module one, okay? So we do pronunciation practice. Do you remember that we do pronunciation practice? ¿Se acuerdan que hacemos pronunciation practice? Hello. Para que han estado conmigo desde antes. I am new. Yes, Kenya, you're new. I know. So the tongue twisters. Miren. So this is. Um, I'm gonna say this in Spanish real quick. Nosotros hacemos pronunciación, práctica de pronunciación con tongue twisters, que son trabalenguas. Entonces hemos hecho. Uf. Ya ni sé cuántos nos hemos. No digo aprendido porque mentiras. No se los aprenden. Los calientan para el ratito y después se les olvidan. Si sí, yo ya me sé eso. Pero tengo una hora que va a ser como el recalentado del 25 y del primero. Que este es que ya lo vimos, pero vamos a ver si ustedes recuerdan. ¿Ok? So, estos son del primer módulo, lo vimos en el primer módulo. Los que estuvieron en el segundo módulo ya no lo vieron. Pero do we're gonna remember, do you remember ice cream, use cream, we all scream for ice cream. Do you yeah, remember? Yeah. Difícil, it was one yes, of teacher. the most that was super super easy so guys let me introduce to you this one the ice cream you scream will scream for ice cream okay so this is a tongue twister que nos ayuda con lo siguiente let me show you something so when we say words like scream we say at the beginning a scream and that is not correct so we have to say ice cream ice cream you don't say ice cream is ice cream for example you don't say school is school no pongan la e antes de la s al pronunciar estas palabras solo ven el sonido de la s scream ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream someone wants to try to say it do you want to try to say it ¿Alguien quiere intentar decirlo? ¿No? Me, Come on. Hazel. Dale, Hazel, dale. Ok. Yo, teacher. Ya, 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 ya. Yo voy con quién más está ahí. Espérenme un ratito, es que me está ayudando Hazel. Ok, okay Hazel, te vale. Ok. Ice cream, you. Okay. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Good job, Hazel, yes. Marisela. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yes, good job. Yes, thank you very much. Just remember, I do practices that are very important. The pronunciation of the letter S, scream, scream but also the pronunciation of the letter R, okay? So because the letter R in English is soft, so it's not scream, it's scream, 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 cream, scream, cream, okay? Remember the pronunciation of the letter R needs to be soft. So we start easy, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. So now we go a little bit faster. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Then we go a little bit faster. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. A little bit faster. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. 
ice cream, ice cream, ice cream for ice cream. Okay, yes. So that's the activity we're gonna do in this moment. We are going to practice pronunciation, pronunciation practice. That's what we're gonna do in this moment. Do you have any questions about it? Did you take the screenshot? You took a screenshot? No, you didn't. Ah. Okay, there we go. Take a screenshot because we're gonna practice. This is pronunciation practice. Remember, no, I got it. The most important thing here is to wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, the most important thing here is that you uh, do the correct pronunciation. Then you can go with speed, but at the beginning, you have to go with the correct pronunciation.
ice cream to ice cream we are screaming for ice cream repítame de nuevo donde dice you Judy? scream Marisela ice cream to ice cream ah, ok better, better, better. Hagamos, we are screaming for ice cream Hágame un favor, Marisela, y bájese un poquito el micrófono abajo de la boca porque se escucha mucho el aire de la nariz. Ahí, better, thank you. Ok. Ice cream, juice cream, we are screen for ice cream. That's better, perfect, thank you. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Good job. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Excellent. I scream, you scream, we all scream, you all scream for ice cream. We all scream. We all scream. Mm -hmm. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Perfect. We We ice cream. 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 We we all scream. We all for, scream for ice cream. For yeah, ice better. Ice for ice cream. Better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Good job. Good job. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Repitamos donde dice we all scream. We all scream. Uh -huh, better. We all scream. Yes. Ice cream. You all scream. No, 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 no. Uh, you ice cream. No. Ice cream. You, you scream. You scream. Uh huh. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Cream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you just ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you
Carla, the internet again. Yes, teacher. Mm, okay. So, but anyways, your classmates are coming. So we're gonna wait for them, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello. So you see the pronunciation practice is that you have to do it and 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 do it. Because I went to some breaker rooms and you were like, ya lo dije una vez. No, it's that you have to do it again. Ice cream, 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 ice cream. And you have to be like that. Remember that I always tell you this in all the modules is for example, when you go to the gym, right? When you go to the gym, you have to do it again and do it again and do it again and do it again. If you want to see results, you have to do the exercise many times. It's not like you're going to do it once y ya va a funcionar, ¿verdad? Voy al gym, hago una repetición, mira entrenador, yo hice la repetición, voy para mi casa y ya termine aquí, ¿verdad? Ya, ya, ya tengo el cuerpo que yo quería con una repetición. It's the same with English. If you want to improve, improve is mejorar. If you want to improve your pronunciation, you have to practice and practice and practice until it's perfect. Okay, someone wants to say it here? Who wants to participate saying it here? Excellent, Sonia, thank you. And then we go with Luz, Sonia. Ice cream, good spring. We all screen for ice cream. Excellent, thank you. Excellent, very good. Luz. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Perfect, thank you. Beatriz. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Good job, excellent. Someone else or nobody else wants to say it? Carla. Excellent, Carla. Oh, Stephanie. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Oh, thank you, Carla. <laughs> and then Carla, Patricia, too? No? Stephanie? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Excellent. Karen Elena, I think you I saw your hand. Yes, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Good job. Excellent, guys. Good job to everybody. So remember, this is to practice the pronunciation of the letter S at the beginning of the words that it needs to be like scream, school, stay. And also to practice the pronunciation of the letter R. The R in English is really soft. Not like they are in Spanish. Remember this car. So you see my tongue is in the top. Car. Car. It's not car. It's not a car. I have a new car. No. I have a new car. You see? It sounds different. Car. Más sofisticado. Car. Not like car. Nah. That is not correct. That's Spanish, not English. Okay. Excellent. So let's continue here. We're going to go uh, with the manual. If you have it, it's on page, page 11. So we're going to be working on page 11. And as you can see on page 11, we have a conversation between Aaron, Aaron and Sam. So remember, I'm going to read it for pronunciation. And then I'm going to read it for intonation. Remember, I told you, 
I don't want you to be like, hello, my name is Pedro. Hi, nice to meet you, Pedro. No, don't be like that. You have to have intonation. Can you tell me what is intonation? Or si alguien recuerda? Who remembers what is intonation? It's like that. Uh, wow. No, wow. Exactly, exactly. Thank you, Magdalena. Excellent. Yes, Jose. It's the feeling. The feeling you say the conversation with. I told you in Spanish, nadie dice en español. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, compañero. Gracias por preguntar. Ok, adiós. Nos vemos mañana. Nadie habla así. Ni, o son los niños de kinder. I, I don't know. So don't be like that in English. You have to do the intonation. So remember, right now I'm going to read it for pronunciation. And then I'm going to do intonation. The new material, material just arrived, arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store, remember store, no, it's not a store, no, store, store, everything, everything. And again, remember the pronunciation of this letter, this right here is V, so everything, everything. Where does he have, remember again, have, have to store the boxes, boxes. Do you know what are boxes, guys? Cajas. Exactly. Cajas. He and Ivan have to store them, but you're gonna say this together, store them, store them in the warehouse. Do you know what is the warehouse? Eh, como la bodega, un centro de distribución. Correct, good job, Karen. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? The lift is like the elevator, guys, or something like that. I don't know if that's because it can be the elevator or it can be the truck they have. Tienen como un truck, como un camioncito que hace esto, boom, y pone cajas. ¿Ya lo han visto? Like El something, exactly, Montacarga. something like that. Exactly. Um, teacher no sabe español, verdad? Qué vergüenza. They have, they have to use the lift, but ask and tell the, don't say secretary, it's not secretaries, secretary, secretary. First, first, remember, this is not first, no, it's first, first, first. She is going to say, and who can help me? ¿Cómo podemos hacer pronunciation of going to? Pronunciation of going to together? Gonna. Gonna. Perfect. Good job. Say they can use it. Then I am, I am, because it's an, a contraction. It doesn't say I am. It says I'm. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Do you need me to repeat a word in a specific? Teacher, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of a story in this, uh, in, in this conversation? Store. Store. So you know what is storage? I don't we were, know. Yes, we were I talking know, about. I only know a store like a tienda yeah but storage we were talking about that yesterday storage it's like wow. this do you it remember the mind. meaning Almacenamiento. exactly yeah. so what do you think it's the verb store Almacenar. correct that's it thank you mm -hmm. so you need me to repeat the word
Si me quieren hablar, no entiendan los micrófonos porque si no, no los oigo. <risa> no, no any other word. Si quieren que les diga algo, enciéndame el micrófono porque si no, no lo voy a escuchar. No, ok. So, if you don't need me to repeat any other word, ¿cómo se dice esta palabra? Warehouse. Warehouse. Ah, ok. I'm sorry. I forgot that you are module number four. You're not basic one. You're basic four. Excellent. Forget what I said. Right, right now I'm going to go with intonation. Ok. Let's go with intonation. I'm just going to close all the mics. There we go. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Remember, it's a question. Where does he have to store the boxes? He, anyone, have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. But ask and tell the, secret, the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max, anyone, what they have to do. One more time. The new material, material, just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He, anyone, have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask, the sec ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. That's the attitude. So if you don't have it, and then when you finish practicing the conversation, remember, guys, when I send you to the breakout rooms, is to practice and practice and practice. And if you hear that a classmate has a bad pronunciation, so mispronunciation, como pronunciar algo mal se dice en inglés mispronunciation. So if you hear a classmate that has mispronunciations, you can help your classmates and say, hey, say it like this. I repeat this word. So this is to help you guys, okay? And repeat and repeat and repeat. Then when you finish practicing like really good practice, then you have to complete these four exercises here, okay? Do you understand the activity? Teacher, yes, I understand the activity, but I have uh, that with mispronunciation. The spell of miss is uh, M I S S or is other? For mispronunciation? Yes. I think it's just, just one S, but let me check just in case. Yes, it's just one S. Only one. S. Correct. Is with M I S. Correct. Thank you. That's mispronunciation. Yeah. Okay. So you have the screenshot. Is if you don't have the screenshots, you have the material there in the um in the platform. So I'm gonna send you to groups of two or three people because. Uh, because we're gonna have some people in groups of three so if you are in a group of three okay just take turns mm, this is good this is not good i don't like this group uh, let me do something there we go let's go take turns
Marisela.
Okay. Ya vamos a regresar, creo. Bueno, sí, ah, pues eso sería. Okay. No, la teacher las quiere escuchar, por eso vino el break. Ah, okay. <risa> ah, okay. <risa> Eh, si quiere, bueno, si quiere comience. Ok. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Mac that he has to store the everything. The store everything. Where, where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. But ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say that, she's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan that they, uh, what they have to do. Okay. Okay, guys, arrived. When you don't say arrived, it's arrived. 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 Como con una de al final, okay. arrived. Arrived. Como con arrived. de. Así, miren, look, look at me. Arrived. Arrived. D, d. Arrived. Yes, better. And it's boxes, arrived. no boxes, it's boxes. Boxes. Boxes, boxes, okay. Okay. This is... Era okay, there are many boxes. Ah, perdón. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use it? They live. Can they use? Can they use? Can they use? They live. Okay. They have to use the leaf, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's gonna say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that they have to store everything. Where, we, where does? I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what, what they yes. have to do. Yes, Karen. No, no, no. Yo les oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Daisy? Karen. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Ay, but yo, eh, where does he have where to does, store? <laughs> where does he have yeah, to it's... store the boxes? He and Ivan have had to store them in the first warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift.
Hola, hola. Katy. Qué vida, hey, Katy. Hello. <risa> Okay, guys. Hello. We're gonna we're gonna go with attendance. I was looking for your attendance here. So remember, cameras on and mics on. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodriguez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. I'm here. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. I'm here. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. Iris Joana Morales Cañas. Cañas I'm Morales, here. Cañas Morales, sorry. Eh, José Arnoldo Orea Jovel. I'm here. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Katia Gabriela Hernández García. I'm here. Kenia Cecilia Mor Ruiz Morán. I am here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. I'm here. I sent to you a message. Okay, I'm going to see it. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here. Rafael Antonio Barrientos Chinchilla. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. Sonia Janet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Elaya Serpas. I'm here. Tomás Ivette Ramírez Castillo. Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. I'm here. And Luis Adonai Aguilar Merino. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Let me see the message. Mm. Ok, um, cualquier alternativa es válida, Luz, ok, that's just an advice, pero si la otra alternativa es mejor, it's ok. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Ok, guys, now we're going to continue with the topic, and this is the main topic here, so have to, to, for, to talk about obligations, that's what we're going to do in this moment, have to. So you know that I have, for example, if I say I have a cup, is that yo tengo, right? I have, I have something. But in this case, we're going to use have with other verbs to talk about obligation, things that I have to do in my workplace. For example, let me share the presentation with you so you know that I'm, what I'm talking about. So this is it. Have two, four obligations. For example, here I have two examples about things that I have to do in my workplace. The first one is I have to teach English. You see that have goes with another verb. I have have and I have teach. I have to teach English. The next example says I have to check homeworks. These are two of my obligations in my workplace. Here we have different examples. Look at these examples. Can you help me reading the first one, please, Judy? Judy, not there? Okay. Uh, Beatriz, can you help me read the first one, please? 
Um, I have to work today. Thank you very much. Kenya, help me with the second one. Sorry, teacher. I have to write and report. A report, thank you. Don't worry, Yudi. It is? I have to attend a meeting tomorrow. Thank you very much. Rina? <laughs> Sorry. I have to organize the inventory. The inventory. Remember when we have vowels, it's the inventory. The inventory. Thank you. Karen? I have to make dinner tonight. Thank you. Stephanie? I have to call client. Call. Call, perdón. Okay. Magdaleno? I have to visit client. Thank you very much. So yes, guys, this is what it is about. The obligations. First, you express the activity you have to do. And then you say the obligation. So this is an obligation, this, 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 this. All of these are obligations um, in the obligation to realize these activities. What is common here is that you have have and to. Have to, have to, have to. And the to in between the two verbs is to give an action to the second verb. Do you remember the infinitives? I talked to you about this topic in the last module. Do you remember the, do you remember the imperative? I mean, yeah, no imperative, no infinitives. Do you remember the infinitives? Infinitives are uh, the verbs and with two in the, in the beginning. And they are in the base form, right? Yeah, the base form. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Magdaleno. Yes, that's what it is. They have two at the beginning and the, it needs to, to give an action to the second verb. So these are the examples that we have here because of that. I have to work today. I have to write a report. I have to attend a meeting tomorrow. I have to organize, organize, I have to organize the inventory. I have to make dinner tonight. I have to call clients and I have to visit clients. Let's go with the next one. So in this case, we have a couple of examples and this is the rule. This is the most important part. This is the rule to talk about have to for obligations, okay? So here we have four examples with different subjects, you see. So I have to work late today. You have to clean your office. She has to send the report and he has to call the manager. So can you tell me why with she and he, we have has and not have? It's for the it's third person. person. Excellent. Yes, I think it was Judy and Magdaleno. It's because of the third person. Se modifican los verbos con la third person. And the third person singular, singular, because they is third person, but it's plural. So yes, third person singular, we use has. So the rule we have down there. Wait a second. Okay, so the rule we have here is we need a subject. I, you, she, he. Like always, we need a subject. Maybe it can be a pronoun or it can be an, uh, the name of a person or the two people. Then depending on the subject, I'm gonna use have to or has to. So I'm gonna use have to with you, I, we, they. And I'm gonna use has to with he, she, it, or the name of a person. Then after I write, I, I write the have to or has to, I have to write the verb, meaning the obligation that I have to do. 
and then a complement. And if you can see, so here we have a subject, subject, then have to, have to, then the verb, work, then that's the obligation, right? And then the complement. Can you identify, please, Katia, what is the verb in the second one? What is the main verb, the obligation? Clean. Clean. Your office. Clean mm -hmm. your office. Excellent. Thank you very much, Katia. So, yes, I have, you have to clean your office. Clean is the obligation, the thing that I have to do. Okay. So now when you talk about the obligations you have in your workplace, you're going to use have to. I have to teach kids. I have to organize the inventory. I have to do this. I have to do that. So now that you know the rule, I want you to send me three examples to the chat about obligations that you have to do in your workplace. Is it understandable, the activity? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. So send three examples of obligations about things that you have to do in your workplace. Pero envíenlos todos cuando ya estén juntos. No me los envíen uno por uno. Okay? Todos together para que no se me pierdan en el chat. Y envíenlos solo a inglés corporativo. So for example, in my case, I have to teach English. I have to call roll, so the attendance. And I have to plan my classes. So these are my three examples. Let me read your examples. Good job, Carla. Good job, Jose. Remember, miembros todos juntos, porque si no me pierdo y ya después no sé los de quién estoy revisando. Karen, no le entendí el segundo ejemplo. Ok, teacher. ¿Qué me quería decir ahí? ¿Divertirnos? ¿Tenemos que divertirnos? Sí, correcto. Entonces ahí sería, we have to have. Ahí sería, we have to have. We have to have um, fun. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good job, Carla Patricia. Excellent. I would your example, Kenya. How to call clients. Thank you. 
Uh, Magdaleno, I have to visit the members of the church, not two members. It's the members. I have to visit the members. Besides that, everything is good. Okay. Okay, I correct that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job, Judy. Good job, Iris. Excellent, Daisy. Excellent, Rina. Excellent, Katia. Marisela, no le entendí la tercera. Ya me quería decir. Ah, que tendría que hablar con los clientes. ¿Con los clientes? Con los proveedores, con los proveedores, perdón. Ok, so in this case I have to speak to the providers. Ah, provider. ¿Por qué le escucho? Ok, ver. sorry, ya lo modifico. Uh -huh. Let me check good. Suppliers. It's better if you say suppliers. Hey, Marisela, suppliers is better. I have to prepare my bridges. Good job now, Magdaleno. Need to clean the wine stamps. Okay. Thanks. Stephanie, I didn't understand number three either. Sonia, I have two. I have two call clients. I have to. No, let me have two. Perdón, ya lo pongo. Okay. Okay, yes, guys. So the main point here is that you understand that. Here, you need to use have to to express an obligation. And then when you finish saying have to, you add the obligation that you have to do. Okay, so now I want to ask you, is this topic understandable for you? Is it understandable? Do you understand the topic or not? Yes, I, yes, under I understand yes, the topic. No, yeah. excellent. Yes. So now that we understand the topic, it's easier to talk about the obligations we have to do. Now we're going to go and talk to our classmates again. But in this case, we're going to do this, the, the following thing. You are going to tell your classmates three, no, four obligations you have in your workplace. So, las que ya hicieron más una. Four obligations in your workplace. And, porque quiero pensar que son adultos responsables. Four obligations you have in your house. Not only in your workplace, in your house. So, we are going to talk about four obligations we have in the workplace and four obligations we have in the house. Yes? Y empieza Teacher, a four and four. Teacher, four, four, and four in, yes. in workplace? And four in the house. Yes. Uh, yo le voy a mandar a de, del trabajo. No, 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 no. Ahorita en el chat sí, en el chat sí. No, pero es que ahorita vamos a ir a hablar con los classmates. And we're going to okay. talk about four in the workplace and four in the house. Okay. Magdalena, I'm sorry, you were saying? Thank you. We have to write them? No, you don't have to write them. Just talk with your classmates about them. Okay. But remember, the most important thing here is that you have to use have to to express the obligations. Así que vayan pensando, ¿qué hago yo aquí en la casa? Y se ponen a pensar que no hacen más de four obligations. Oh my goodness. So you need to think about that. I have to clean the kitchen, I have to wash the clothes, I have to repair the 
sink, sink es el lavadero, ¿verdad? I have to repair the sink, I have to clean the bathroom, I have to wash the dishes, I have to cook in the mornings, I don't know, four things you have to do in your house. Ni les creo que no vayan a tener más de four things, menos de four things, oh my God, es, es, eso sería, recuerden que somos adultos independientes. Solo dependiente del trabajo por elección. Solo para el grupo donde está Luz, guys. Um, Luz no puede participar en este momento, así para que lo tengamos en cuenta. But besides that, everybody can participate. Let me see. There we go.
I, I have to to keep organized my room. I uh, um sometimes I have to cook. Normally, the men have to throw the garbage. And have to wash the dishes. Wash, wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Yes. I think that all the rice are in my house, eh, I had to clean my rooms. I had to wash the dish. I had to wash my dress. Ropa, creo que sí, dress. Clothes. Clothes. It's clothes. clothes. Mm -hmm. Dress is vestido. Okay. I, I had to wash my clothes and I have to clean in the house only. Okay. Okay. Can see. If you finish, repeat again. Remember, this is practice. Okay. Wash. Wash. Es que si lo dice con T, es ver. De ver. Dígalo así. Como wash. Wash. wash, wash, no, como diga, wash, wash, that's good, ah. very good, wash, I have to clean our house, house, it's house, no house, it's house, house. Así. Así. a house, house, house. I wash, I wash, I wash, I clean, 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 I clean, 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 I clean, 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 <laughs> no. No tiene que hacer breakfast, lunch, dinner. 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 Mm. I am dinner. Nada más. <laughs> Remember, I have to do I have dinner. To. Or I have to make. I have to make the dinner. I have to make the dinner. Make is hacer. make is hacer, verdad? Sí. Hacer. Okay, I, I have to make dinner.
Hello again. Now I see that you don't cook a lot. I see a lot of people that don't like to cook because you were saying that someone else has to cook in your house. That's okay. Con tal que no se mueran de hambre, tortilla con sal. Tortilla con tortilla con sal y no con queso y así tiene si ya es elegante usted verdad exacto pero ahí la tortilla con sal ya han comido tortilla con sal pero tortilla tostada tostada con sal y con limón no han comido nunca sí. eso qué sí, rico sí. es eso verdad sí. se me hasta se me hace agua la boca Yes. Y tortilla bien caliente con Pero queso fresco. de la plancha. Sí. No, se han salido de la plancha. Tostadas así en brasa, diga. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, así, sí. Ah, si es de comida rapidito, se ponen a hablar, pero ya en la clase. Mm. Bien. Right, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, guys, let's go and work on this. So we have here different verbs in we have uh, sentences. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven here. So we have do already. We did do here. So we're not gonna use do anymore. There. So now we have, I have to do a project about our solar system for school tomorrow. Now let's go here, it's we. It's have or halves with we. How or has? Have. 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 Of course. And then see, binoculars to see Neptune. I have to what? Where? I have to use. Use. Where? Use. Use. Mm -hmm. Esperemos un ratito. Veamos todos los ejemplos para no equivocarnos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's true. We have to wait. I mean, I mean, use. We have to use binoculars to see Neptune. Pero mira, ya al fondo escucha un ruido, pero ya no. Okay, Larry's telescope is broken. Broken, so it doesn't work anymore. Larry's telescope is broken. He has to buy. Has has to buy. Has to buy. He has to buy. He has to buy a new one. Okay, he has to buy a new one. Correct. Then you every day to become an athlete. Athlete. You have to. Mm, lo que les decía como practice in English. You have to you what? You have to no exercise. You have to exercise. Excellent. You have to exercise every day to become an athlete. Uh, number five. Scientists go good at math. How to? Have to have what? To be. Have, have to, to be. be. Have to be. Que ser. To be. Have to be. Have because it's plural. Scientist. Scientist has to have to be. I mean, have to be good at math. Astronauts in a spacecraft yeah, yeah, yeah. to go to the moon. Astronauts have to travel. Have to have to have to travel. Excellent. Astronauts have to travel in a spacecraft to go to the moon. Number seven. Eh, don't let Mary minimizemos el ruido que tenemos ahí de fondo, guys, porque sí me está molestando un poquito. Okay. Eh, don't let Ma Mary look at the clips. Okay. She, she has to has to work. She has to. She has to. She has to wear. Remember, guys, wear is for everything that we use, for example, in the body. I, I'm going to give you an example. With the makeup, makeup, you say wear makeup. With your clothes, wear clothes. If you wear a watch in your hand, you wear a watch. So wear, wear glasses, wear sunglasses. It, that is wear. Okay. 
Yes, excellent. So buy, I mean, have to do, have to use, has to buy, have to exercise, have to travel, have to travel, no, 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 exercise, be, travel, and wear. Excellent. Good job, guys. Now we're going to work on this one. Pero déjenme mentir que se ve bien raro. Voy a ver si la puedo arreglar. Give me a second. Me dicen si se ve mejor ahorita, comparto. ¿Es better? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. For example, today is a holiday. Yes. I have to work. Have I have to work. I have to go to, go to work. work. Go to work. I have to go to work. Pero si hoy es un holiday, aquí vamos I a empezar con have. el negativo. No. Doesn't para el prim, para I, I o I don't? I, I don't, don't. I don't, I don't have. have. I don't have. Porque si es un holiday. No, ¿verdad? No es el trabajo. Tío. Ah, bueno, bueno, bueno. <ríe> that's true, that's true. Para algunas personas, yes. So, today is a holiday. I don't have to go to work. Let's go with this one. Your sister. So, estamos hablando de un third person. So, el auxiliar para third person in questions is has does does questions remember the questions we open the questions yes. with do or does does your sister have or has has to has to has 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 no se acuerdan cuando we use the auxiliary in the third person the verb is in the base form. No Do you cambia. remember that? Uh -huh, it doesn't change. So because we have the auxiliary, we are not going to use has to. We're going to use have to. Have to. So does your sister have to go to school today? Go to school today. Let's go with number three. My mother go to the post office now. So like if my mother is has, has or have to. has has have to, to, have to go to the post office now okay let's go to number four i study for the grammar test tomorrow i have have, have, to. have to i have to. to exactly i have to okay now take a screenshot porque vamos a trabajarlo together si no ya me va a tocar solo a mí hacerlo Quería tomar mi té y estaba a punto de agarrar la, el bote del, del alcohol gel. Sí. Y ahí van a ver en vivo y en directo un show bien raro aquí. Ok, you ready? Remember, some are questions, some are negatives, some are with has, some are with have to. Ok. Let me see, this is good. Pa, 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 pa. Yes, let's do it.
Now the camels having to drink water for a long time. Um, camels. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, but okay. uh, camels. Camels. Uh, but it's not have to drink water. How to do? Have to. So let's see how to do. Drink. Have to. Oh. Have to drink. Have to drink. Oh. Have to. Oh. Um. This is really a un un she camel. 
el nombre de mujer. Pero Camel se refiere. Es un animal, Camel. Yo creo que es. Ah, pero si son animales. Se sí, toman sí, como se un... al camello. Es una. Pero igual si son. Camels, pero son camels, es un plural. Camels, ajá, con son plurales. Así sería hatu. Ya, yeah, correcto. Si fuera solo uno, sería has to. Camel ah, has to, but it's camels have to. Okay. Do you have to live? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you have to live? Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to live? Do you have to live? Live some. Okay. Y en la. Uy, la 10. Oops. My friend. Ahí está. Take a drive to my have to 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 have Don't, don't have, don't have, don't have to. Correct. Listen to me. So, yes, you were correct. Like, it's camels have to. But it says there, camels have to drink water for a long time. Tienen que tomar agua por mucho tiempo. Or don't have to drink water for a long time. Correct. So, exactly. so it will be don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to. Okay. Uh -huh. My sister has to. Has to see the no me acuerdo qué significa. Ah, cita, la cita. De, de es una reunión. Mm -mm. Es una cita. Con tiene el... una reunión cita con médica. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es una cita médica. Entonces no va a poder ver al doctor porque tiene un, un appointment. No, no, no. Sí. El appointment es con el doctor. Con el doctor, ah, correcto, okay. con el dentista. Okay. okay. Then it's correct.
Hello. So we're gonna go with the last attendance, okay? So I'm gonna wait. Hello, hello. hello. Let me see. Um, tomorrow we're gonna check the answers, okay? Uh, when we be, when we start the class, we're gonna check the answers. Let me see. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna start with the attendance. Ana Gladys Moraga Rodriguez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. Beatriz Yamilet Lucero Pérez. Carla Maritza Sánchez Mesa. Present. Daisy Yesenia Mezquita Martínez. I'm here. Hazel Ruth Melara Rivera. I'm here. Iris Joana Cañas Morales. I'm here. Jose Arnoldo Corea Jovel. I'm here. Carla Patricia Pineda López. I'm here. Katia Gabriel Hernández García. I'm here. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. I'm here, teacher. Maricela del Carmen Velázquez Diasis. I'm here. Rafael Antonio sure. Barrientos Chinchilla. Rina Aura Espinosa de Acuña. I'm here. Sara Ivette González García. Sonia Yanet Martínez de Orellana. I'm here. Stephanie de la Paz Celaya Serpas. Tomás Aybet Ramírez Castillo, Judy Araceli Cuellar de Hernández. I'm here. Karen Elena Vázquez Hernández. I'm here. Luis Adonai Aguilar Merino. Okay, guys, that will be it for today. Y me quedo con Katia. I'm going to stay with Katia. Have a good night and I will see you tomorrow, okay, guys? Goodbye. Good night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Bye bye. 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 bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Okay. Hello, Katia. Hola. How are you? Bien. How I'm do you, good. How do you feel to be back in classes? ¿Cómo se siente volver a la clase? It's good to it's it's good. Good. Uh, learn English. Excellent. Uh, I like it. And uh, I don't know, is it easy for you to understand when I'm speaking in English? Yes, I, I understand. Yeah. Es, expresen, expresarlo me, me cuesta. Yeah, it's Pero easy entiendo. to understand, but to speak is the problem. Uh -huh. Bueno, ¿qué preguntas tiene? ¿Quiere preguntarme algo con respecto al inglés? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta que ha escrito o algo en la que le pueda ayudar? Um, el, lo que decía de... ¿Se acuerda que dijo que, que cuando decíamos primero das en, en, el, en, la, en la persona, ¿verdad? Ajá. No colocábamos has to. Uh -huh. ¿Me podría explicar mejor eso? Yes, que of course. Creo que no recuerdo eso. Yes, I can explain that to you. So, cuando tenemos oraciones, usualmente como, um, no, es con tercera persona. She has a car, es un ejemplo. Ok, eh, esto es afirmación. Entonces, como es afirmación, si sí voy a seguir las reglas de la tercera persona. Pero, cuando ya voy a hablar de negativos, ¿se acuerda con cuál voy a negar para tercera persona? Doesn't. Entonces escribo doesn't y como ya el auxiliar lleva el doesn't, lleva la tercera persona, entonces el verbo, si yo lo coloco has, sería una manera redundante, por lo que yo necesito colocar have, porque ya no necesito en su forma base, ya no necesito con tercera persona, ya que el auxiliar ya me ayudó con eso. Entonces she doesn't have 
a car. Lo mismo sucede con una pregunta. Las preguntas en inglés no se abren como las preguntas en español, ¿verdad? con signos de interrogación, sino que se abren con do o con das. Pero cuando tenemos terceras personas, los vamos a abrir con das. De nuevo pasa lo mismo que arriba. Does she, y aquí ya voy a necesitar el verbo en su forma base, porque como nos podemos fijar, ya aquí el auxiliar lleva a la tercera persona. Yo no necesitaría entonces agregar ahí, sino que es does she have a car. El ejemplo que hicimos hoy era como, ah, no recuerdo bien cuál era el ejemplo, pero era, espérame, aquí lo tengo de todo forma. Mm. Her sister, creo. Yeah. Su hermana es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Esto es una she. Si lo pudiéramos cambiar por algo, el pronombre sería she. Entonces, como voy a abrir la pregunta aquí con das, porque nos estamos refiriendo a la hermana, das your sister, y como voy a hablar del have to, ya no voy a escribir has to, porque ya el auxiliar das lleva a la tercera persona. Por lo cual yo escribiría el verbo así. Does your sister have to go to school today? Porque ya aquí ya especifica y está como explícito el, la tercera persona. ¿Se comprende? Sí. Yes. Sí. Excelente. ¿Another sí. question? Solamente de este tema esa, ¿verdad? Entonces... Ayer, lo que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? De los... De aprendernos este, los, los nouns, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Si son no contable o contable, ¿verdad? Y usualmente si el contable, el que es contable tiene plural y singular. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir one cell phone, two cell phones. Y los que no se pueden, por eso es que las estrellas sí son contables, porque es one star, two stars, three stars. Aunque son imposibles de contar, pero sí tienen números. Lo que no se puede contar es la arena uh -huh. en el mar, por ejemplo. No puedo decir one sun, two suns. Solo existe el singular para esa palabra, sun, porque es en general como decir water. Solo es water, no waters, ¿verdad? Yes. Esa sería mi duda, ¿verdad? Solo de, de, de eso que me acaba de decir, ¿verdad? Que si lo, lo puedo contar, entonces no sería un conto pobre. Correcto. Entonces. ¿Solo eso? Ahorita solo esa duda. Sí. Ok, excelente. Entonces nos veríamos mañana eh, a las 8 siempre. Ok, okay. gracias. Have a good Pasen night, Katia. Ok.
papi, llegó el ejecutivo. Oye, papi, llegó el ejecutivo. El manager. El manager, míralo ahí.